What's going on, folks? DJ Bob Light here, taking a look at the Chord Triton this time for some more ambient jungle pads. Another great old school rompler to use uh, to stack up sounds. We've talked about this before. When it comes to um, these jungle pads, it's all about layers. And since like the Chord Wave Station, the Triton, the M1, let you stack layers within the synth. So let's take a peek at this. And in the Triton, we have this concept of combinations and programs. So a program is an individual sound, whereas a combination is a combination of up to eight individual sounds. So think of programs as patches whereas combinations are a collection of patches. So in this combination here, I have eight patches that are stacked up. So what we can do is be sure you have combination selected, go to browse, go to user, and go to any of these user banks that have a bunch of init presets in there. So just blank patches, and you can grab this first one and let's build something here. So what we're gonna do on the left is just slot existing programs into here. It's very simple. So click this drop down, go to load program, and then on the right, it will bring you back to the browser and you're now looking through all of the different programs. So let's find something tight. I'm gonna go with slow sense. Those are typically your pads. Let's start there. like that one nice little resonant sweep on there so i'm going to double click in that program is now assigned to this number one slot here i could copy paste clear it do a couple things there let's go to number two here and let's load up another one That sounds cool too. Let's go in and load a third one and you just keep building these things up, man. I think we got a pretty nice little little combination there. So with this nice sweep here, uh, I can solo these. So if I want to solo the program in slot two, maybe I want to solo slot two and three. So that's how you do it. You build this up. I like the piano and the nice attack uh, to this pad. So next thing you could do is double click this combi button, or let me close the browser first. Click the combination button and you get some settings for the entire combination. Um, I'm gonna go over to zone here. So you can map these different combinations to a zone of keys, just like a sampler. Um, so I can just alter this here, but we can see all three slots or all three programs are taking up the full keyboard. So all of these sounds will play uh, no matter where you are in the keyboard. Let's exit that and let's go to IFX slash MFX here. So this is where you do your effects routing. Um, each, each slot or each program in here can be routed differently. So I can route all of these to IFX1. I can come in here, turn on IFX1, go for like a reverb. And I'm actually gonna turn up the volume. going 
to grab IFX1 and have it feed into IFX2. And then let's put something else on there. Let's do like a delay. Nah, let's not do that. Uh, let's go into filter here. A little wah-wah. It's kind of cool, but uh, that ain't it. Little chorus. Little chorus is always good. Sounding good there. I can dig in to each uh, effects there. So we have our IFXs here up to five. I can go into each one and modify uh, the settings of that. So if I want to change the reverb, I can go to my master EQ. Maybe do like a little bit of a low cut there. So it's not so muddy. Come back to my routing. What are we missing here? Uh, let's go back to this combi real quick also want to call out that you can pan each program in here. So if I want to pan this super sweeper all the way to the left and I solo it. Sounds like it's coming out of the right, but uh, okay, that's cool. Uh, anyways, I can split these all out. Let me get them all playing, turn off solo. Right, so just some additional control there as you're building this out. Um, if you wanted to edit each of the individual programs, you don't actually have to switch back to program mode. You can edit the programs directly from the combination mode. And what's kind of cool is the changes that you make to the programs in combination mode will not alter the original programs. So they're self-contained uh, in your combination patch, which is kind of tight. So if I go to um, stereo here, I have all my controls here for that program. So I can go in, fuck with the oscillators, the pitch, the filter. Uh, I can have, well, the IFX is shared, um, but LFO, right? If I look at pitch, right, and cycle through the programs, see, these are all the individual parameters. So if you wanted to change the oscillators out, uh, et cetera. Very cool stuff. Um, you got your ARP here. You can quickly turn that on by just clicking. Ah, I got to turn it on. Maybe not. <laughs> There we go. You can kind of hear it there. Here. That's one of the coolest parts about this synth, in my opinion. It has a really powerful ARP in it um, that I believe you can sync with your uh, DAW tempo. So anyways, so that's how you do it, guys. Kind of like the Korg Wave Station. You, you don't have to go in there and create these super complicated programs. You can go into the combi mode and just stack existing programs and get something very unique. If you wanted to dig deep, you could absolutely do that. There's a lot to it. And then finally, if you wanted to write this, you go to write here. This screen comes up. My first patch. Yay. I can set a category here. Let's say it's a string. What's the character of this sound? Oh, it's a little bright. Electric. No, it's synthesize. A little slow. A little modulation on there. And then I can save it to one of four user banks. So I'm going to go to user A. You'll see each bank. 127 slots. I'm going to write it to zero, zero. So if I go to combi, browse, user bank A, there's my patch. I'm going to favorite it. That's it, folks. Mess around with it.